Hey guys and welcome to another part of my The Division beta playthrough. Um, I hope you enjoy it, or are enjoying it, I mean. ...to each of the wings in the base and sync their progress so we can have a bigger picture of what's happening here. And the more stable this base is, the better shape the city will be in. This was what I was supposed to do the last time before I was preoccupied in doing the other thing with the contaminated area. So... I've got to go through and look at each point. Now, okay, I think this is where I was called out to. So, yeah, another annoy and ju it's just so annoying how you can't um, pause it. I know it's online, but oh my god. Anyway, let's go through. The wing is a wreck right now. Once we get that virologist over here, we can build up a staff, investigate the origin of the virus, and start getting more supplies. I love the level of detail just put into this game. Um, just having a look around and seeing detail, still astonished by it. This is what I did the last time, but I didn't do everything. Alright, so, um, as I said before, this a lot of this is me recording footage and then providing co commentary. Um, it's just how I play. Um, so let's go through here. Sort out the sorry. Sort out the security wing. And finally, the tech wing up here. But if you can get Rhodes back here, he's apparently got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Former PMC, I think. All right. Well, that was a quick. I suspect he'll be very useful. Now what have I got to do? Crafting station, not available in beta. Well, that's great. Just in the bar right here. Okay. Oh, sweet. Tactical vector. That's a gun I want. This is what I have. A lot of junk I can sell like that. Don't want to sell that. There's a lot of stuff I don't want to sell. Alright, and that's can pretty much buy nothing. Man, I love making deals. Alright, let's go here. And there's another cutscene. Hey, bad news. I'm not going to be able to get out there. Not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life. But it's worse than anything I could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people. This is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, you need to... Yeah, okay. Okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. Alright, so I cut out a certain portion because I was just stuffing around with my inventory and... Yeah, that was pretty much it. So here we are heading to, I think, get the neurolo virologist. Sorry. We've got a lot of hostiles inside, agent. They're holding Clear. Dr. Candle in her staff. <clears throat> no. We need those personnel back at the base Go. so we can get we the medical wing functional. Well, that was smart. I walked straight into a, um, we'll here to cover your into a charge. The medical personnel when you retrieve them. Of course you guys are staying here to hold my back. Alright, let's go through. A bit nervous about going into here. Here we are, there's the fret. Right, let's go over to this side. It's almost basically impossible to try and stealthily take anyone out. Oh, 
we are. Another guy there. This mission's actually probably one of the hardest ones that I've done so far. Just because of um, how, just like how many enemies there are. Like I reckon if you did this co-op would be a lot easier I think. I wonder if you can do this game co-op like Destiny where you just ask someone, hey do you want to play this mission with me? Cool. Alright, this guy's going to be a pain in the ass isn't he? God, motherfucker, get out of there. Damn it, no. I'm gonna have to get up a bit closer. Will that work? I hope so. No, it still didn't get him. Alright. This hospital mission I'll be uploading in two parts just because of how um, long it is and how bad my internet is because it can take me ages to even upload something this size, or well, sorry, this long. So um, I'd be there all day trying to upload something that was say half an hour or 40 Ask minutes. Me to the security system. I might be able to find Candle's location. Alright, so I got that guy there. And there's something down here that I had to go to. Alright, so where do I have to go now? It pays it pays to um look around and just see what you can find. So sometimes like getting a map out. Yeah, that was something I saw in a thing where turning that off, it gets rid of sort of like the, I don't know, sort of like if something goes off, it, you don't see all these different colours, sort of like, I don't know if you saw light diffracting through glass or something that sort of, um, all the different colours sort of just gets rid of that and makes it look a bit more realistic. Some A lot of people don't like the chromatic aberration stuff. Okay, good, no frets found. Alright, let's use the keyboard. Hatched in. Let's see what I can find. Can you see the CCTV feed? Looks like Candle and her staff are being forced to treat their wounded. That's the only reason they're still alive. Alright. Just thinking of all the games I still haven't played, like I got Rise of the Tomb Raider, still haven't finished it because I've been spending pretty much my entire summer just playing Fallout 4, like from November day one, just non-stop Fallout 4. I played a bit of Banjo-Kazooie, a bit of Banjo-Tooie, a bit of Rise of the Tomb Raider, but I've just been focused on that game because it just takes forever, the settlements and stuff, so I've got so many games that I've got to play. This one's coming out very soon, um, but yeah, I'll probably be playing, I'll definitely be getting this and be playing it because it looks like it could be a lot of fun. Anyway, okay, so it's pinpoint. Oh, it looks okay, like they've cool. got people upstairs in a restaurant. But yeah, still not sure whether to get on Xbox One or PS4. Uh, I have to look at the graphical guys, differences. You, use cover, you should be able to pick them off without making yourself a target. Might actually play a little better if I get on Xbox Live just because. I on Xbox One just because I, you know, 
um, well, that's a lot of dead bodies, but uh, like the online system's supposed to be a lot more stable than the PS4 one, so that could be a plus, even though the PS4 generally has better um, graphics. Okay, it's found one fret, but I definitely know that's not the only fret there. And I've got to wait for this stupid thing to reload again. You can literally... I'm wanting to get over there, but I, uh, I really don't want them to see me. Ah, great. Yep, I think they saw me. Nah, still can't. Ah, oh God. Ah, uh, I count three people. Please just load up that stupid thing so I can see how many enemies there are. Yeah, this part takes quite a long time. <sighs> okay, so... Alright, I think there's just three enemies or so that it's found. Oh, fuck. They've got the fucking aiming skills of... Oh, you motherfuckers. Get back! You definitely need co-op in like a lot of these missions. It's because you can easily be overwhelmed, like it says, use cover to, um, you know, protect yourself, but damn, these guys just come in and overtake you. Might be safe here from the, um, what are they, smoke grenades. Oh, there's a guy there. Hopefully they just ricochet. I can't exactly remember how I did this, but... Additional hostiles detected. Ah, well that's great. Yeah, there's a lot of hostiles in this case here. There we are. There's all the hostiles. There's this guy here. The, the ones that I hate the most are the ones with the damn baseball bats. They can really stuff you up. Something that I found out that I haven't used in this case, that once you see one with a baseball bat, you just pull out your sidearm and you have much better hip fire and just taking them down a lot more easily than trying to um, use your rifle to get them because it's just going to be such a pain. It Additional hostiles detected. Oh my god, yeah. This part here is quite intense, but it's not the hard... This is probably... Uh, probably say this... Uh, there's four um, enemy things that you've got to do in this case. I'd say this is probably the third one. There's a fourth encounter that's relatively easy. And then the, next, the last two are, like, pretty difficult. I don't think you'll see... I think in the next part I'll be showing those to you. I've got to say that I much prefer this to Destiny like Oh, awesome. Destiny, um, I don't know, it was just, it was alright, but it wasn't really my game, like, after a while, I just got bored of it, having to repeat things. That's one thing that I'm hoping I don't have to do in this. I don't have to bloody grind over and over again to... Additional hostiles detected. Oh, you motherfucker. I just, yeah, hope that I don't have to keep on grinding missions to you know, rank up and stuff. And it looks like in this, you know, it's more 
um, like Destiny was a semi um, sandbox game, whereas I think this one's a proper sandbox. And again, because it's all on foot, it's going to seem a lot more. Um, it's going to seem a lot um, like further to travel than, say, oh sorry, the distance travelling around is going to be a lot more slower than what you would see in something like Grand Theft Auto 5. Anyway, I'll bring up the next part very soon. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll bring you more parts, especially this where I'm fighting people in a hospital. Well, actually, no, a stadium ground that is turned into a makeshift hospital. Uh, my mistake. This is a stadium ground. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll bring another pub to you very soon. Cheers.